So these are your latest collage, right? Yeah, I was supposed to have a solo show in Boston with just the collage, but I don't know if that's happening anymore. I'm I'm enjoying my home life. My my middle schooler is totally on her own, but my fourth grader needs a teacher, so I'm her teacher <laughs> as far as going through all of her assignments. And it's been they've been fabulous. You know, the we've really had wonderful walks and wonderful time together. But it's stressful not to be in the studio and to not know what the art world is going to be like when we get out of this. Already a, a pretty major gallery just closed. Are you getting any help from your landlord, your studio landlord? Um, I am paying a portion of my rent, but they are not, they are just sort of pushing the amount forward. Of course, all my upcoming shows are canceled, postponed for a full year, which is insane. <laughs> the Hello Museum show I have coming up is now 2021. I'm Kate Clark. I am a sculptor in Brooklyn. This is my Brooklyn studio. Um, I work with real animal hide. Um, these are hides that I get from a zoo. Uh, the zebras that I get from a zoo, some of them I get, um, they're not going to be used for taxidermy, so I upcycle them for my artwork. Um, when I talk about my work, I talk about that fine line between um, really loving and revering animals and then also dominating them. So this piece in particular is called um, Entangled, and it talks about that moment of both violence and intimacy that we have with animals. Intimacy in the way their faces come together. I don't know if you can see it, but they almost look as if they're kissing. And then, um, and I use two very different models, um, two male models. But for this one, um, they're so massive. I wanted them to have a sculptural feeling. I wanted them to rear. And so you can only get one form, so I had to cut the form up and make it so that they're intertwined. And it's this really incredible puzzle, let's see, of, maybe you can see the leg. Yeah. This is the stick. And it had to come together. There, it wasn't just flat ground where I could sew it anywhere. I had to make sure it lined up perfectly. The other thing I talk about is identity. I, um, I give each piece individual identity features like our own. I do have a range of ethnicity and um, race and all different types of backgrounds. I'll use a male hide and horns and make it a female face because the horns are so decorative and beautiful. And I just love that, you know, sort of ability to do that gender swap. So you're working from actual model, right? Or are you working from a <laughs> photograph? Okay, you're working. I yeah, I'm working from a model. And so for these two pieces um, that I just showed, I really want there to be a sense of family because that's something we can relate to in the animal kingdom. And so I've used the same model for all three pieces. So this one to me looks like cousins, but this one's called the Sisters of Race and the faces um, are similar in how sort of sisterly. You asked if I sketch the work and I don't. <laughs> I actually start with a model directly building it up with white clay, making the face it takes me about a month back and forth. I use very rough leather so that in the end, when I put the leather that is the animal's actual hide on and shave it, it's very clear that this is the animal's skin and you can see oils and pores like ours. And, but then the pinning holds it in place because the clay is white and you will see all the seams if I don't pin it down. It takes me two or three months. I, um, I love having the model, but I, they can really only come for a couple hours a day because I can't, you know, that's my, focus time and then there's a lot of production work around that. National Geographic did a documentary that said that my work, um, the message was their message. So they really understood that I was talking about the balance between, you know, the, the relationship between human and animals and how valuable it is. And to really, you know, the beautiful thing about art is that you can just make a suggestion. The amazing thing about taxidermy is that you get to make the animal exactly the way it was in nature. My approach is slightly different. When I put the hide on, I'm doing it traditionally. I'm doing the gluing the way a taxidermist would. I'm doing the stitching the way it would. I'm lining up all the features so that they're very true to the animal. But the human face changes the hierarchy we're not viewing a creature or viewing something that really reflects us. I use the real animal's hide. I don't buy fresh hides. I buy hides that no one has used. And I'm repurposing them for my artwork. 
I hope you enjoyed Kate's work as much as we do. Please check back as often as you can. And if you want to meet the artist live on Instagram, leave us a comment below and we could make that happen. This is a new series we're trying to promote. So until next time, stay safe, be well,